Welcome to Google Docs, where I do short documentaries on a variety of people from information gathered from Google. I don't know anyone's story aside from what I can find online, of course, so I will do my best to report only on things about their lives that are true and quotes or interviews from them directly. Enjoy the show. Welcome to the Charlie Reed Show with your host, Charlie Reed. As I stated before, Khalees signed with the Neptunes, which is a production house created by Pharrell and Chad Hugo when she was 19. According to HITC.com about her contract with the Neptunes, quote, Khalees alleged that while signing the contract, it stated that all the profits would be split equally. That is 33, 33, 33. However, when it was time to take home the money, things were reportedly different. Khalees alleged she did not make anything from the first two albums that she released as they were a production of the Neptunes. However, the singer was making money through the tour she had been making, and the singer eventually ended her contract with the production house, and that was also how the beef between her and Pharrell started. After slamming Beyonce, Khalees was quick to call out Pharrell and Chad as well. She said, quote, Pharrell knows better. This is a direct hit at me. He does this all the time. It's very petty, end quote. Okay, so I just got off stage, but I got off and I saw these retarded comments. So let me just respond. There were some good ones too, but, you know, we'll get to those after. So here's the first thing. My hair is cute. Um, <laughs> here's the first issue, okay? Number one, it's not even, like, I'm a human being, so I get pissed off and I get ticked off, right? I'm an artist, so I am, as Erica said, I'm sensitive about my shit. The reality is, okay, is that my real beef is not only with Beyonce, because at the end of the day, she sampled a record, she's copied me before, she's done it before, so have many other artists, it's fine, I don't care about that. The issue is, is that not only do, are we female artists, okay, black female artists in an industry that we... There's not that many of us, right? We've met each other, we know each other, we have mutual friends, it's not hard, she can contact, right? Ash Nico, who's what, 20? She's a young white girl. She reached out when she freaking, like, it's just common decency, right? It's common decency, especially because, because, as so many of you pointed out, as though I don't know, but let me help you, okay? I know what I own and what I don't own. I also know the lies that were told. I also know the things that were stolen. Publishing was stolen. People were swindled out of rights. It happens all the time, especially back then. So it's not about me being mad about Beyonce. Everyone's like, a sheer old sheep. And I'm talking to the people who are obsessed and blind, just like, ooh, like it's so dumb. It's so ignorant. It's so ignorant. She is one issue because it was stupid and disrespectful and she should have at least reached out. But the real issue is the fact that the people like Pharrell and like Chad, who Chad really is like an amoeba and just he's spineless, it's a miracle he can keep his neck up. But Pharrell knows better. This is a direct hit at me. He does this stuff all the time. It's very petty, very, very, very. And the reality is, is that it's frustrating. I have the right to be frustrated. Why? Because no one had the human decency to call and be like, yo, hey, would like to use your record, which by the way, the reason I'm annoyed is because I know it was on purpose. This is not like some, oh, they were in the studio. And it was, no, no, this was an on purpose, direct hit which is very passive aggressive, it's very petty, it's very stupid. And I'm gonna say what I have to say, I don't mince my words. So all of you Beyonce fans, knock yourselves out. I'm not mad like that. It's not about me being jealous, jealous of someone using my song. That's the dumbest, most ignorant thing I've ever heard. Like, grow up. I was not thinking about her or no one else, not even on no shade, just not thinking about living my greatest, best life, as I always do. So it has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that from one artist to another, you should have the decency and the common sense and the courtesy to call, reach out, a manager, an agent, anybody just be like, yo, heads up, this is what we're thinking, this is what we're doing. Even if you're gonna do it anyway, just common decency. Like I said, it's happened before where people at least had the, the wherewithal to be like, yo, using your record, we understand that like Pharrell totally swindled you out of your stuff. Just wanna give the respect because that's what you do, right? No, that's not what happened. So grow up, okay? I don't miss my words, I say exactly how I feel, when I feel it, how I feel it. I don't care who likes it or doesn't like it. It is what it is. These are facts. This is not opinion, okay? These are facts. Later. So just to add to my thought, <laughs> here's the issue, okay? This is not about, really not about Beyonce or anything else for that. The reality is, okay, and I said what I said, so still all facts, okay? But the reality is that this is more about the fact that like there's a lot of hypocrisy and there's a lot of nonsense. So we've got Pharrell who did a video, uh, sorry, an interview, I think last year talking about 
artists' rights and how people should be able to rework their deals and artists should be getting credit for what they've done and all this stuff. Where in reality, when I was signed to him, I had the same manager that he had and he has writing credits on my records, okay? All my singles, coincidentally. And he ain't ever wrote a song, a lyric, a day in his life, okay? And so yeah, that's a problem. Number two, we've got Beyonce, who, like I said, out of human decency and artistry and female, just all of the stuff she sings about, all this empowerment and stuff, I don't talk about it, I am about it, okay? So the reality is all of this female empowerment, it only counts if you really do it. If you're really living it and walking the walk, don't just talk the talk. It's real cute and fun to sing all these girls' songs. Like, come on now, let's be real, all right? And then thirdly, you want to talk about Pharrell's like, oh, cause I'm happy. I'd be happy too if I was stealing all kinds of folks publishing and rights to songs and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I actually really, really wouldn't be happy because it's evil. But the point is, okay, is that there's a lot of hypocrisy and someone has to talk about it and bring it up. And it just so happens that I'm, I was thrown in this. This is not like I look for it. I was actually last night, I was posting on my bounty and full page, just doing my own thing. And then I saw one of my fan pages and someone was like, oh, that's a collaboration. Collaboration between B and Khalees. No, it's not a collaboration. It's called thievery because the collaboration, the definition of collaboration, it means that we are working together. There's no working together if you are not even checking to see if everything's cool. That's a problem, okay? I would never do that to another artist, for real. I never have, I never would. Why? Because what's the point? If I like it so much, why wouldn't I just be like, yo, I really like it. Can I use it? What's that? like, whatever. That doesn't happen, right? It's nonsense. Because some people, I don't know if they, I don't know what they think. I really, I don't even care. The point is, something has to be done about it. I'm not just going to talk about it. I'm not going to pop off all the time. I'm saying what I have to say because it's true, okay? But I do think that something needs to be done. It happens to a lot of artists. It happens all the time. And I think that really something needs to change. And this just might be the fuel that I needed to actually do it. Because honestly, I try to keep to myself and stay out of the drama. But if it keeps coming to me, what else am I going to do? Right? That's all. So say what you want to say. I don't really care. Peace. According to Rolling Stone, quote, the song in question was Khalees' anthem Milkshake, which was interpolated on the clubby fifth track Energy, featuring Jamaican-American rapper and producer Beam. Interpolating differs from sampling by tweaking a portion of an existing song for a fresh sound, while a sample lifts directly from a track. Khalees also stated, according to Rolling Stone, this was a trigger for me, she wrote in another post. Milkshake alone is one of the most licensed records of our generation. I am a creator. I'm an innovator. I have done more than left my mark on an era of music and style that will go down in history. But while Khalees may have aimed her initial criticism at Beyonce for not reaching out to her, her real issue lies with Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo. She has previously accused her former close friends of lying and tricking her into a bad deal, which left them with all the rights to her music and her empty-handed. Williams, who was credited on Energy, along with Hugo, did not respond to Rolling Stone's request for comment. This means that even though Khalees is the original performer of Milkshake, since she's not credited as a songwriter and doesn't hold any copyrights to the song, her approval was not legally needed to give another artist clearance to use the song, end quote. I don't know what will become of this dispute between Khalees and the Neptunes. And amongst many statements she has made about this soured relationship, she also explains why she didn't speak up early in her career about not getting paid for her work. And she said to The Guardian, quote, She did not notice for a few years because she was making money from touring and just the fact that I wasn't poor felt like enough, she says. She sighs. Their argument is, well, you signed it. I'm like, yeah, I signed what I was told and I was too young and too stupid to double check it, end quote. I believe Khalees understands where she was at fault with this deal, but I think she is more hurt that this was a deal that went sour between friends. Khalees is still doing well for herself. She attended culinary school at the Cordon Bleu and now has a successful career as a chef with a specialty in creating incredible sauces. Her lifestyle has changed dramatically and now she lives on and manages a 24 acre farm about two and a half hours out of LA deep in wine country. Although record companies often claim they didn't know how to sell Khalees because she did not restrict herself to R&B and hip-hop, fortunately she allowed herself to be the true artist that she was within and gave her audience musically her authentic self. Bloopers 
Kalisa alleged she did not make anything from the first two albums that she released as they were a, a, a 